Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio. I'm Khalid Maidan. And in today's video, if you're a person who reads a lot of ABGs or arterial blood gases, I'm here today to give you a really, really important tip when it comes to hypoxemia. So let's get into it, let's get clinical. So your patient's ABG has just been taken and you're on the intensive care unit about to treat them. Let's check out what their ABGs show. So we can see that their pH is 7.45, PO2 is 12.25, PCO2 is 3.98, HCO3 minus is 25.2, base excess is 0.7, and the FiO2, the amount of oxygen being delivered to them, is 0.4, or 40%. So why don't you have 10 seconds to analyze this set of ABGs and see what you think of them? Okay. So let's check this out. So on first glance, you may think that this patient has relatively normal PO2 levels, but actually I can tell you that whilst the actual PO2 number is within normal range, this patient is actually really hypoxemic and they have really low oxygen levels. So why is that the case? Well, it's all because of the FiO2, the amount of oxygen being delivered to them. Remember that this patient is receiving 40% oxygen and as a result, they must have a PO2 level which is much higher than what is for normal range. Because remember, those normal ranges are for when a patient is breathing room air, which is 21% oxygen. So what does that mean for our interpretation? Always look at the level of oxygen being delivered to your patient before you look at their ABGs. And here's a general rule of thumb. Whatever your patient's FiO2 is, minus 10, and that should be around about where their PO2 level is. So for this patient who's receiving 40% oxygen, minus 10 from that, and you should probably expect their PO2 to be around about the 30 level. Now that's not exactly true all the time, but it's a good guide and a good rule of thumb to use. Take for example, a normal ABG and Remer. We've said that room air is 21% oxygen, minus 10, and you get 11. And that makes sense because a patient's normal PO2 for ABGs should be somewhere between 10.7 and 13.3. So that FiO2 minus 10 rule can be really, really good for reminding yourself what the PO2 level should actually be when your patient is receiving higher levels of oxygen. So guys, that's the main takeaway point from this video. When you're reading your patient's ABG, first look at the FiO2 level, then minus 10, and that should be generally around about what their PO2 level should be. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you a good tip to remember for reading your ABGs. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can find more stuff from us at www.clinicalphysio.com. Thank you so much for being with us today. My name's Khalid Maidan, and we'll see you really soon, right here on Clinical Physio.